New World War. Revolutionary Methods for Political Control. Introduction. In this volume we'll discover that confirmed monsters exist in our society who attack people at will. They're referred to as psychopaths. They have been described as intraspecies predators with no conscience that have a need for absolute power over others. Some of them form associations to establish control over societies. They accomplish this by concealing their goal of achieving power with ideas of a better world to deceive people into supporting their activities. At the same time, they use terror to traumatize people into accepting laws which reduce their civil liberties. Evidence will show that several closely connected groups have been directing a global revolution to consolidate control of the planet. This involves changing the governing structures of the various countries and merging them into a single world government. This global revolution contains a revolution in military affairs which is characterized by a drastic change in the methods of warfare. Particularly, it is a transition from major theater wars to low-intensity conflict. And more specifically, it is defined by a targeting of groups and individuals. This new war form brings with it new weapons and tactics to be used on civilians. They include high-powered microwaves and lasers, which the public is told are non-lethal weapons, as well as psychological operations. These new weapons, and the military revolution which they are part of, are helping to accomplish this planetary revolution. The purpose of the revolution is to make the world a better place. And the new weapons will save lives, we are told. Military and civilian experts in areas of history, military affairs, and non-lethal weapons are used to promote the revolution and the accompanying weapons to the public. These leading experts also infer that the groups which are facilitating this transition, and which will be in control of the planet, if it is ever completed, have only the best of intentions for humanity. To many in the world, America has been a symbol of freedom. But evidence will be provided which illustrates that it no longer exists as it did. As part of this global revolution its governing structure has been infiltrated by people of wealth who now run it. We'll notice, however, that these military and civilian leaders repeatedly praise the symbol, and warn that it is in danger and must be protected. As we'll see, their solution is an aggressive targeting of civilians with this new technology. Not only is the solution that these experts offer completely destructive to the values that the symbol once represented, but the values that we are told are in danger no longer exist. It will become obvious to some readers that these experts are deliberately misleading their audience. We'll also learn how dictators in the past have carried out attacks against their civilian populations in order to pass repressive laws. We'll then examine some recent tragic events that have resulted in arrangements which further this political agenda. Other material presented will make it clear that, despite the most humanitarian intentions professed by the groups guiding this revolution, they are psychopathic and intend to reduce the population of the planet to a state of neo-slavery. The true nature of this revolution will be further revealed in Volume 2 where we'll see examples of ongoing efforts to remove civil liberties and expand the definition of the enemy. Documentation will be given which suggests that elected officials, particularly the, the United States Congress, are aware that this is occurring, are complicit in the process, and are rewarded for their participation. It will be shown that initiatives by Congress are helping the financial elite accomplish their ultimate goal. Having established a profile of the people steering this revolution and the current state of affairs will give us a better understanding of how the technology will really be used and who it will be used on. Then in Volume 3 we'll have a closer look at the weapons of the new war. How the wealthy elite who are controlling this have been able to get away with attacking citizens with this technology for decades will be revealed in Volume 4.